Hey loves, it's Shawnee with a mother freaking E coming to you today with another relationship video. Well, this time it's about my relationship, even though I'm not in a relationship. Check this out. Before I go in with this tea on my life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Go hit it. Hit it now. Thank you. So tell me why I was talking to a Virgo. <laughs> why was i doing that i'm a virgo ain't nothing wrong with dating a virgo i have great virgo friends my best friend is a virgo one of my best friends is a virgo we're great people but there's a lot of things <laughs> there, well not a lot but there's some things that some virgos need to work on like there's a difference between immature virgos and mature virgos i'm still immature but i've learned and grown from experiences and life experiences i used to talk to this virgo and all day today she even hit up my phone because last yesterday I'm talking to this other girl. She's a Capricorn. I'm talking to a Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries. All the signs that I say stay away from. Good thing Libra's not in there. I'm glad Libra's not in there because I can, mm -mm, ain't nobody got time for those problems. My Virgo baby that I was talking to was upset. I guess. I mean, it seems like because she's been talking about it all day today. Text me, blowing up my phone now. Remind you. We don't talk. We stop talking on the regular, like, the time I went to Cali. From that time, I went to Cali. I just went to Cali in May, at the beginning of May. So, we haven't talked like that since then. And it is June. It's about to be Juneteenth. So, like, it's just, it's just random to me. I'm just like, yo, okay. The fact that she got upset or seems upset or i don't know what her problem is with it today like i don't know why she texted me today on this stuff the other day i think it was yesterday morning the capricorn that i'm talking to like every morning every morning since we actually met in person because i met her online and ever since then she's been digging me she feels me like i'm a great person to deal with like i'm the type of person who is just a chameleon i'll just go with it i'll just mesh with people like my personality just brings me together with people like people can deal with me i choose to deal with people so she texted me ever since the day we met we met last friday so since last friday because it was such a great first date any date with me is great not being cocky just being honest every since friday she has texted me every morning saying good morning i hope you have a great day don't forget to eat because on our first date i didn't really eat i just drunk because anybody who knows me i'm working on my thing <laughs> alcohol i can work off i know how many calories in alcohol i don't want to look up how many calories in food anyway she's been texting me every morning so the yesterday i put on my snap story those morning texts have me feeling special because they do like she doesn't have to do that that's really unexpected to me because the the virgo i was with wasn't doing that like i was trying to get her to do that like you we're two i understand we're in two different time zones but when you wake up what's so bad with hit me with a hey what's up most of the times i was already up so i said good morning hey what's up don't want to do it every day i mean duh but anyway needless to say today my virgo baby was just like i text her this morning because last night i had a dream about her it was a really in-depth dream like it was it wasn't my last dream but it was so real like i was really there that i remembered it when i woke up like it wasn't immediately when i woke up but after a second it was like oh snap i dreamt about her so i i text her i was just like i dreamt about you that's it. She was just like me. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> it was like, that's weird. Like the conversation just went love. And I was just like, I don't understand. Cause the we talked like about a week ago. <laughs> about a week ago. We talked about a week ago on video chat. Like we had this big old misunderstanding. She told me uh, um that she loved me and I was just like, Okay, I don't believe you love is a big big word to me it means a whole lot like i ain't gonna say i love you unless i'm willing to go to jail for you if i'm willing to fight fight for you that's when i tell you i love you so when she, the week before like maybe a few days before she told me that i that she loved me in person like we were together she just was not talking to me she was real silent and i was just like okay well you already know i'm coming to california so what are you doing? Why are you acting like this? You ain't hit me. Yo, we got we got in this big little argument. Big little argument. We got in this argument 
and I was just like, you know what? I can't. Like, no, stop. I'm still coming. Like, I guess she thought I wasn't going to come to California just because we had an argument. And I'm just like, no, I've already planned. Like, I already planned it. I was going to go somewhere. I chose California because I know I wanted to enjoy my life. Just vibe out. I had my California hair done and everything. Like, I was going to California. So just because you was acting crazy and didn't want to hit somebody up. Like, if we have an argument and I say, hey, I don't want to go to sleep before we make up. It's like, I don't want to go to sleep before we make up. Do not hang up the phone with me. If you tell me, oh, I ain't got nothing to say to you, I'm about to hang up. And I'm like, are you upset? Yes, I'm still upset. If I already told you that I don't want to go to sleep and we're upset, what do you expect? Like, don't do that. <laughs> when you do it, I'm going to be like, okay. Like, she's not listening to me and that's how I felt. So that's why I was telling to her, like, well. But anyway, that happened. And then, like, she didn't talk to me like that was a week before i went to california and she just did not talk to me like i reached out to her and that's the thing with her with my virgo baby i reach out to her first every time every time no matter if i'm wrong no matter if i'm right i reach out to her every time because i genuinely i genuinely liked her and actually loved her so i was just like no you know what forget argument i don't care what you say when you're mad if i love you i love you regardless but it's not the same way that's why i felt like i was just like oh i don't believe you. that's one reason why i said i don't believe you because that's how i love that's how i know love even if you make me mad we argue whatever i'm gonna forget all of that because i love you like i want you in my life so that we didn't talk for like three something days i don't like that either don't go silent on me i am a communicator talk to me how do you make relationships work my last video communicate talk to me i don't care if it's angry talking like say something to me so i know what's going on anyway and you say she left me on silent for two to three days i had posted on my snapchat story a countdown to my trip to california and i guess she saw that she had reached out to me because she saw that and she was just like are you still going you're still going to california where are you gonna stay you know like that like and because we was mad she wasn't talking to me that was gonna stop my whole life like i was gonna stop everything like i couldn't find somewhere to stay like first of all i'm miss independent so if i want to go somewhere i'm going to go i'm planning like i'm going there like that's where i want to go i don't know why she thought that she was gonna stop my hustle or my cash flow or my happiness like nothing nothing was gonna stop because of you like you're not god basically that was literally maybe what was that Four, three to four days before my trip to California and she asked me like where are you gonna stay and I was like I got a plan B like I always had a plan B I had a plan B from jump because I already know how you move being that I'm a Virgo I automatically have a plan B C D F you know like it goes on <laughs> like I always have a plan I always like to be prepared she's over here telling me okay so where are you gonna stay I was like I have a plan B so I guess she got a plan she was like so you going to California to see another chick and I'm just like why do I have to go see another chick and go to California why can't I just go to California just because I want to go to California like I mean I was nice that I was coming to see you and hanging out with you like that was great because I like you and I like spending time with you I like your vibe and everything so from that point he's got three days into my trip three to four days she's like why are you not staying with me like what <laughs> why am i not staying with you like we haven't talked in three days we had an argument about something oh, i remember what the argument was about because i don't like repeating myself the argument went to basically she was just like well i forget stuff a lot and i was just like well i've been told you if you forget stuff because i'm very forgetful what do i have a handy dandy notebook that i write everything in i write everything down if you look at my phone right now and there's memos notes of everything i have text messages to myself so i don't forget stuff because that's how i understand that about myself i accept that that's what my problem with people they don't accept themselves when you accept yourself you are prepared to deal with yourself you can live with yourself you make your life better love your life I mean, it's that simple. Because I know I'm forgetful, I write a lot of stuff down. <laughs> I talk to myself. Like, there's things I do. And that's my thing with people. I'm not trying to be with anybody who's not going to do what I do. I go out my way to do things, to make things work. I will literally research your sign. Just to know how how you are, what you like, what not to do, how to vibe with you. Like, I'll do whatever I have to do. So we can be on the same page so we won't have no bump up so our communication our interaction our connection will be a one i go out my way and that's my thing people 
other people in the world don't do that and that was my thing with her i'm just like i know how i love i've been there done that been in so many relationships been in abusive relationship i was in an abusive relationship for three years because that's how i love i don't care i she almost drowned me she tried to drown me i have a cut on my thigh because she stabbed me because i was trying to take all the weapons away <laughs> like i still stay with her after that i went through so much with that girl i know how strong my love is. that's with all my relationship so that's my thing i'm just like why why is it too much for me to ask for somebody to understand and know my worth like i know my worth so today she's just stuck on the fact i didn't say i loved her back i did say i loved her back but not immediately after she said it and instead of we talking about why i don't believe her whole mood changed and i understand that like i've been there i said i love you to somebody and they were just did say it back and i respect that because they wasn't feeling it get that so i was just like yeah i was a little but her but it's like i'm a virgo i'm a realist <laughs> so if you know if the love ain't there why force it so after that her whole mood changed and i was just like you know let me make sure she knows i love her <laughs> so i said it back like i love you i hear that you love me but i don't believe you like this is the reason why <laughs> and we talked about it. and then I, I apparently i didn't say it fast enough that i loved her like i was supposed to say it immediately after she said it and i'm just like yo i feel you i understand that like yeah i love you but do you not however because i don't do but do you not see why i don't feel like you love me when i'm saying hey i don't want to go to sleep angry i don't want to be silenced <laughs> and then like you did those things and i don't oh the first one i don't want to repeat myself i want you to actually listen to me and make me feel special like you don't have to do much to make me feel special i come from my household i'm an only child but there's a lot of voices <laughs> there's always a lot of voices other people whose opinions whose thoughts whose voice is louder than mine i don't get heard a lot so if i'm saying hey i want to feel special and just listen to me it will make me feel special that simple it's not like oh you gotta give me flowers bouquets of flowers every other day no just listen to me i want to be heard by you i want you to i want to feel like you're actually interested in me that simple so i don't those two on top of each other those three things i want to be heard so I won't have to repeat myself. I want to feel special. I want to be heard. <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep angry. I don't want to be silenced. Got to have communication. That's the number one thing. We already know that. That's how you make relationships work. Any type of relationship, you have to have communication. We already know that. She knows that. So my thing is, what's the problem? What is the problem? You didn't need these three things. Like, and the fact that the fact that you silenced me was a big problem. That was like, okay, <laughs> like, what? I'm over here telling you what I want and what I do not want. If I'm giving you a blueprint of everything I want, you everything should move, run smoothly. It's not my fault that you don't want to do these things. I'm okay with not being in a relationship with you. We can just be fun partners, have fun time together. And keep it moving. Like you ain't got to do nothing with me. But the fact that you're saying you want to be with me. You want to be my girlfriend. Knowing that my next relationship is going to be my last relationship. Like I'm not making no more mistakes. I'm not making. I'm not wasting no more time with people. Why wouldn't you respect my wishes? If I come to you right off the bat. First time we talk. If I'm telling you exactly what I want. And what I don't want. Right off the bat. Just give you a whole. Write it. Spell it out for you. Literally spell it out. So you can have it why not think i'm serious about that why would you if i set my boundaries and i let you know what i expect what i want and all that other stuff why not take me seriously if i tell you exactly who i am because i'm that, that person i'm gonna tell you exactly who i am my flaws everything about me right off the bat the moment you tell me that you're feeling me i'm gonna let you know everything about me so i can be like no you're not let's not waste each other's time like point blank period I don't know why other people aren't like that. I don't know why people don't believe me. If I say that I am selfish right now, believe me. Because I am. I'm going to make a believer at it. Like, come on now. So all day today, she's been in her feelings about that. And I'm just like, bro, we literally, the last time we talked, especially on Uber, we talked about that. We talked about the whole thing. She was like, I hate when, that you compare me to your ex and this, this, and that. If you're getting into a relationship or you're moving on, don't ever break up your ex. Don't do that. I try not to. My ex is a part of my life. 
I don't talk to her a lot. But I understood that. I was just like, get it. Got you. I won't compare you to my ex. My thing was, if you're doing things that remind me of my ex, that's going to be like a flashback. So I'm going to be like, yo. But I understood what she's saying. I don't want you to say, hey, you remind me of my ex. That makes sense. That was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> my bad. The fact that she said I loved you threw me completely off because I wasn't expecting that because I wasn't expecting to hear that after all the stuff we went through just three days ago. It was just like, you literally had to convince me to come stay with you. And now you're saying you love me? Like, <laughs> like what's going on? But anyway, anywho, it was my bad. I should have said it. Apparently, according to her, I should have said I love you back because because I did not say I loved her back right then and there, she cut me off completely. She was just like, nah, fuck you. And I was just like, okay. Because <laughs> I'm just like, what the crap? Like, I don't, you want me to, like, I, I'm not lying because I do, I did love her. But the fact that I'm just supposed to just disregard all of my feelings, all of my thoughts, all of my opinions just to appease you like that doesn't work for me that i'm no 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 this time because i did that in the past my last relationship i compromised put myself aside put everything that makes me happy so i let myself go not caring about myself all i did was care about that person the fact that i told her about that when i was talking about my ex my bad so the fact that i did that what i don't want to do that again i don't want to give all of me just for at the end of the relationship when it comes to the end like all of my relationships seem like they were just like yo i was holding you back i was nothing without you like i really needed you like i use you like all those things that people be saying to me at the end of the relationship because i give all of me why is it why is it so hard for me why is it not appropriate for me or acceptable for me to expect good i want to see good before i sign <laughs> I want to see the Carfax before I buy the car. Like, why is that so bad? But apparently it's bad to her. Today, she's been talking to me about that. And it's crazy because we already talked about that. We talked that whole conversation through. We talked all of the past through. Talked it all through. Got it all out. So we we're moving forward. That's why we were talking last week. Well, last week, about a week ago, whenever that was, she hit me up on Duo, a video chat and she was telling me about how she's going to um she's been on tinder and immediately when i think of tinder i think of gay hookups that's it gay hookups that's all i think of. well not even gay hookups just hookups but because i'm gay it's gay hookups so i was just i was like you on tinder and the crazy thing is because before that, when i got back here from california got back from my trip from california she virgo baby stopped talking to me and everything it was just like i need to reassess you like you're in the friend zone now and i already knew that she's not a good friend because what she's a virgo we're not good long distance friends <laughs> we'll check up on you every now and then but if you don't need us we ain't gonna hit you out of sight out of mind so the fact that she she was like that and i was cool with being her friends i actually checked up on her because i actually cared about it like you don't stop my lovely with a virgo well with me i guess because she's a virgo oh, oh no she be acting crazy with me if i love you i'm always love you I'm going to think about you. I'm going to care about you. If I think about you, I'm going to hit you up. And be like, hey, I was thinking about you. Are you all right? I'm just checking up on you. You need anything? All right, cool. Because I actually cared about you and I loved you. She stopped that. She completely stopped. And I was just like, yo, what? What's going on? Like, you can't tell me that you love me and you care about me and you're not checking up on me, hitting me up. Like, apparently, texting me was too much for her. I guess she expected that she had to, she thought that, that she had to text me every day. Even though I was saying you don't have to text me every day. If you're telling me that you're thinking about me and I'm always on your mind, what's so bad with hitting me up? Like, if I'm really on your mind, say hi. <laughs> like, that's all you gotta do is say hi, text me hi. But apparently that was too much for her and she was going through, she was working on her, going through her, like, immediately when i came back here that's how she was on that and i was just like cool like that's fine too whatever yo we already talked about what we had that whole conversation because i was just like yo i don't i don't i don't get with that if you ain't gonna hit me up you saying that you love me you love me you care about me but you can't hit me up like it's too much to ask for for you to text me once a week 
I ain't trying to be with you. Like, I ain't trying to be your friend. I'm not, no, I don't need those, any more of those friends in my life that are just not there. They're just missing in action. I don't need that. I need somebody to care about me, to, to hit me up. So we can have that energy back and forth. Like, I need somebody to be a good friend to me because I'm working on being a better friend. Like, if you got, you can ask any of my friends now. I'm doing so much better. I'm better than I was. I'm hitting people up. I'm on phones with people because I don't like talking on the phone. I don't like the sound of my voice. So, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't trying to get on the phone. I ain't trying to, if it's not face to face, I ain't, I ain't, no, like I'm not a good friend. I, that's how it was. Now I make it a habit to go see my friends. My friends are about to come over here. Like I'm trying to be a better friend. So if you're telling me that you're not trying to change your ways, regardless, like if I'm telling you that, Hey, I know I'm a bad friend, but I'm changing my ways for you and you ain't going to, you, that's not it. Nope. That's not even a thought of yours. You're not even going to attempt to be a better person. Like, I don't need to be your friend because I can't go from we texting, talking, be on the phone all day long to complete nothing now. That lets me know that you don't love me <laughs> like I love you. That's why I was just like, I don't believe you when you say you love me because somebody who loves somebody just don't disappear on them. That's that's not love. If you know me, you know, that's definitely not my love language because I know why would you do that to me if I'm always about yo don't go silent on me and you still choose to go silent what makes you think that I want anything to do with you <laughs> you can't do the simplest things and that was my problem where she couldn't do the simplest things it was asking for way too much that would just be cool you ain't gotta be in my life I wasted my time with you I wish you would have told me that because I told you from the gate this is gonna be a waste of my time I already told you that the first I was just like nope I don't want to mess up my peace <laughs> I just got my peace back from my ex from my last relationship worked so hard for this got my body in shape feeling good about myself don't need you to come up in here mess up stuff the other day about a week ago when we video chat and she told me about tinder i'm just like wait wait, wait, wait. so it must be me because you were just on i'm not talking to anybody i don't even text my best friends i ain't hitting up nobody it's just me it's too much to even text you hi when i'm thinking about you you were just on that now you're on tinder trying to find a friend that's why I don't understand what and that's why I was so confused. I was just like, bit, 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 bit. We we're talking about that. And I was just like, so was it me? From that conversation of me asking, was it me? Like, did you just not want to mess with me? Like you just didn't want to talk to me. And she's telling me, like, I just didn't like I be dreading to talk to you. You get on my nerves sometimes and this, this, and that. And it became a whole argument on her side. Cause I was just like, whoa. I was just like Okay, because she started saying that I can't have friends. I can't have friends. Oh, I'm grown. This isn't that. And I'm just like, I'm talking about me. You didn't want to talk to me. You told me that you were being so you needed space. You needed time for yourself. You literally was using this time. You ain't talking to nobody, not even your mama. So I'm confused. I'm just saying, was it me? <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, you can go find friends. Go do that. I want you to have friends. As many friends as you want. Okay my thing was was it me did you just not want to speak to me and after she said no nah. like sometimes i don't want to talk to you or this isn't that i was just like bet that's all you had to say and then it got real awkward on the phone and she was just like i'll call you back and she never called me back like that's why it was a week ago because she never called me back so i had no need to hit her up because she already told me that she don't be liking talking to me like she never has anything when she <laughs> talk about that i would say so why did you call me back she was just like i didn't have anything else to say to you so why not just say okay have a good night i'll talk to you later or some other time not oh i'm gonna call you right back like why lie like i hate lying don't lie to me open honesty even if it's a white lie even if you are not gonna like my reaction still tell me the truth because that's all i want that's so hard for people so all day today she's on that she's talking about i told you i love you and you couldn't say it back and this is that and i'm just like that was over a week ago i thought we talked about this had an understanding and we were moving forward we were moving on we were trying to move on we i can't move on with you if you're still doing the same stuff and still upset about the same stuff that we already squashed apologized for and i hope forgave each other and moved on <laughs> I'm not going to hold you that over your head. I know that's how you are. I'm not going to hold that incident over your head. I'm just going to move accordingly. That simple. Like, I'm not going to feel some type of way when you don't hit me up. I learned that. 
that's it. Like, you're supposed to learn from things and we can move on. I can't move on with somebody who don't want to move on, who's stuck in the past. Like, no, it's not. No, stop. Stop. So she's talking about that. She's talking about the Snapchat post about somebody making you feel special. She was just like, you just be using people. That's real empty of you. Like, you don't like these people, but yet um, you enjoy feeling special. And I'm just like, bruh, I ain't using nobody. They doing this on their own free will. They told me that they like me. They text me. They put their number in my phone. Like, this is all their free will. It's, it's, why? Why? Like, anybody who knows me, I don't like nobody. <laughs> when it, Like, when it comes to, like, a relationship, like, no. Like, right now, I don't like nobody. Because you have to be A1 state sauce view me right now. That's just how I am right now. Like, a year ago, a year or two ago, heck no. I wasn't on that like you give me a little bit of attention I'll give you a little bit of something like I'm not on that no more I'm not like you gotta do more you gotta treat me better like I can love myself I love myself so you gotta show me that you can love me better than me because I'll be treating myself good can you match up to that because I'm the bomb.com so basically that's why I was like and she's just all but her I'm just just giving her it's just like yo I'm not worried about anything like I didn't expect nothing from you when you're saying that you want to be my girlfriend knowing that my next girlfriend is going to be my last girlfriend like wife.com I expect a lot <laughs> I expect for you to earn that title literally don't tell me you want to be with me and not be willing to do the things to be with me like that's not it if you want to just chill and be in my life that's cool don't expect no title don't expect no special treatment don't call me on nothing like don't do nothing you have no right to do anything when you don't have that title you ain't got nothing you ain't got no right to speak on me you ain't got no right to tell me anything how to feel how to respond you have no right so i guess she was just butthurt because i moved on like what did you expect for me to do when you don't talk to me you literally told me that you don't like talking to me so what was I supposed to do? Wait until you like talking to me again? No. If somebody else is giving me what I've been asking for, why would I just dismiss that blessing? Like, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to jump in the bed with them. I can just enjoy their time because they enjoy me. I guess her thing is I'm not giving her that treatment I was originally giving her. I was giving her that girlfriend treatment without the title like i didn't expect anything like i, I already knew that we wasn't going to be together from jump i wasn't even entertaining that because i already know i ain't gonna be able to deal with that because i know myself i'm at that age i can see you and it's just be like mm -mm, i ain't gonna be able to deal with that that's how it was when we first met i was peeping her i'm the type of person who will watch i it ain't gonna look like i'm watching you because that's rude i ain't gonna just be staring at you with it. no i'm gonna peep stuff about you and retain it her thing was oh i can i'm a virgo so you already know i can change i can be whatever you want me to be and that's my thing my thing was i don't want to change you i want to fall in love sincerely genuinely with that person their flaws and all so this ain't gonna work like i already said <laughs> this ain't gonna work i'm sorry unless you know you just genuinely or you just want to change for yourself for your good for you know just to be a better person like i've had those situations those times when i wanted to be with somebody but they were out of my league they were just like yo i can't i can't do i already did that and i'm so glad they were honest with me because that was that would be me robbing them of themselves of their success of anything i don't want to rob nobody i don't want to be robbed so i appreciate them being up front with me and that's what i try to be for now from that situation this new person i'm trying to be this new person i am this better person i'm trying to be i literally tell everybody about me if you're looking for anything with me like i just went on that date last week i let her know off the bat all of my flaws <laughs> off the back <laughs> i was just like all right this is how i am i never use my phone like it's there it's beside me i see it going on but i probably won't pick it up <laughs> that's just how i am i'm a more in-person person like i like to interact in person other than on the phone she already knows that like i literally spelled out everything about me so there wouldn't be any surprises like once it happened once you realize it will be not a surprise i can be like oh, i already told you that don't don't ask surprise like 
you just deal with this like, i'm gonna tell you everything so you can make the decision on if you want to deal with me because i am going to do the same thing like it would be unfair for me to expect for you to deal with me if i can't deal with you like it's, it's all about compromise when it comes to relationship thank you loves hit that subscribe button don't forget have a great day